The word cryptid refers to any entity whose existence has yet to be documented outside of legends and myth, like the Loch Ness Monster. But believe it or not, many real animals you might recognize today were once cryptids themselves, thought to exist only in folklore. As humankind has explored more and more remote parts of our planet's surface, however, increasingly fantastical organisms have been discovered. So, for this entry into the archives, we're going to catalog seven real animals, once upon a time thought to be cryptids. In the darkness of the ocean, a leviathan lurks. For centuries, sailors made reports of a colossal, tentacled monster, which emerged from the depths to drag ships to their watery demise. Referred to in Scandinavian folklore as the Kraken, for most of human history, these supposed sea monsters were thought to be nothing more than a myth. Today, however, scientists believe these tales emerged from early sightings of giant squids. Since the first footage of a live adult giant squid wasn't captured until the 2000s, it's no surprise these creatures were considered to be fictitious monsters for so long. They don't actually smash boats, but since these cephalopods can grow up to 13 meters or 43 feet in length, it's not surprising these behemoths were once considered true monsters. Additionally, the animals have the largest eyes of any living creature, about the size of a dinner plate. They also have a donut-shaped brain that their esophagus passes through the middle of on the way to their stomach. In a way, it would almost make more sense if giant squids were only the stuff of legends. Besides the kraken, one of the most recognizable aquatic cryptids is the sea serpent. Taking on various forms in numerous cultures, Sea serpents are usually long, scaly monsters, sometimes sporting a finned ridge going down their back. Although such a monster seems like it could only exist in myth, there is one real species which scientists consider to be a probable source of many sea serpent tales. The oarfish is a massive deep sea organism which swims at such a low depth it's challenging to capture footage of one. While a fish, not a serpent, the oarfish can reach lengths of 8 meters or 26 feet in length. During storms, these giants sometimes washed up on the shore, which is likely where ancient humans first encountered them. In some rare cases, however, the oarfish has been spotted swimming in shallow tropical waters, a sight which is the closest you'll ever get to observing a real sea serpent. Moving on to land, another large reptilian cryptid that appears in the folklore of many cultures is the dragon. Four-limbed, fire-breathing monsters with a serpentine appearance, true dragons might only exist in old tomes, but there's a real-world animal that gets pretty close. Komodo dragons aren't the origin of most dragon myths, but when they were first reported on, it's no surprise people were at first skeptical of these accounts of massive, scaly beasts which seemed right out of an ancient legend. Growing up to a length of 3 meters or 10 feet, the largest lizards on the planet aren't that far off from actual dragons. They might not breathe fire, but they do produce toxic proteins from lands in their lower jaw, not an animal you want to encounter. Returning to the open waters, krakens and sea serpents weren't the only fantastic creatures sailors told tales of. Many also made references to mermaids, the fish-tailed sirens of the deep. But these sightings were in fact inspired by glimpses of a real animal, the manatee. Manatees are herbivorous marine mammals which look decidedly not like people, although they feature unique paddle-shaped tails which do tangentially resemble the mermaids of legend. The sailors who spotted these creatures likely only saw them from a distance, and had maybe spent too much time alone on their boats. Mermaids are not, manatees are great, play a vital role in their ecosystem, and must be protected. Moving inland, I want you to imagine a dense forest. Now imagine a large, furry, unknown animal, which sometimes can be spotted walking on two legs like a human. If your mind first went to Bigfoot, I'd understand, but these are actually the details of a completely different primate species that was once unknown to science, the mountain gorilla. Crazy, right? Today, the existence of gorillas seems obvious, 
but if you try to imagine getting a report of gigantic, hairy, upright walking animals hiding in heavily forested mountains, you might start to sympathize more with any initial doubters of these creatures' existence. Some early accounts suggested they were violent carnivores, and although they're no pushovers, they're much more likely to munch on a carrot than munch on a passerby. Gorillas are an amazing, yet endangered species which needs to be safeguarded, or they might pass into genuine myth. Down in the continent of Australia, we have some of the most unique animals on Earth, but perhaps none is quite so strange as a certain duck-billed egg-laying mammal which was, for years, thought to just be a mythical cryptid. I'm of course talking about the platypus. Unlike other species on this list, nobody mistook the platypus for some existing mythical monster because, frankly, even things out of myth don't look as weird as the platypus. Instead, for years, many simply believed the animal was a hoax, or an amalgamation of different animal sightings. What an incredible species. And to close off our list, we have not an animal, but a plant. Early records of Venus flytraps were met with skepticism, and considering they're a plant which essentially eats insects with their mouth like leaves, one can understand why. The idea of hordes of snapping plants which catch live prey does sound pretty far-fetched, and pretty horrifying. The way Venus flytraps work is they possess tiny hair-like triggers which go off when insects land on them, releasing a signal to trap them inside. The plants then digest the bugs using a unique set of enzymes. And honestly, if that's not the closest thing to a documented cryptid, I don't know what is. So those are seven animals, well, six animals in one plant, that are no longer the stuff of myth. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and pressing the notification icon to stay up to date with Curious Archive. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.